Hey everybody, how you guys doing? My name is Crazy Jester and welcome back to another episode of U-Boat and with it we bring more news from the front lines of the U-Boat developers with yet again another dev diary. This is going to be dev diary number five that they are bringing out. It's not as big as, uh, as and as much information as the last few dev diaries that have come out. However, new information nonetheless, which I wanted to get out to you all. And actually, with the little information that they are providing on this dev diary, they are bringing in a lot of good things. So without further ado, let's get right into it. The very first thing that we are going to be talking about, which again, they will be introducing all of these on the full release of U-Boats, is the complete reworking of the contact system. Now currently, and this is actually perfect that it's working out this way, when we are underwater and we have our hydrophone going and we locate a contact, it shows up as such we have propeller noise tiny group one and it gives us a relative idea of where that target is and if we head towards it as we are now uh, lo and behold we will eventually run right into it and then we can start sending up attacks however with the new contact system they are now going to display arcs which i'm bringing up on the screen right now for you guys as you can see these arcs are going to indicate that you have located a target and it is in the specific area in which these arcs are pointing to. It's not going to give you an exact area as to where it is precisely, as you can see with how the current system is. So it's going to make you work a little harder to try and locate that contact, get a little closer. The cool thing is, is depending on how many contacts there are, there's going to be different arcs. So my assumption is if it's one contact like we're going running into right now the arc is going to be relatively slim and if you're running into a large group the wider that arc is going to be because of the amount of noise that the hydrophone is picking up now as the ships cross their paths you will see these arcs start to work towards each other eventually intersecting when they are when some assuming of course the ships have now crossed paths and or joined and are on a course together. So pretty cool that they're adding this. Uh, it's going to add a little bit more immersion and make you work a little more just to try and find that target. No longer can you just go under, use your hydrophone, see where the target is, and then just head in that same course. It makes it a little easy as it is right now. It's There's not too much of a challenge. So with the new arcing system that they're coming in with the contacts being reworked, uh, very excited for that. Another thing, and I don't know if this is being added in the game or if they're just talking about if you're wanting to go super hardcore and plot out everything, but I'll bring it up right now. As you can see, it states, if you look for an even more hardcore gameplay and wish to plot everything on your own, we've also added an option to disable all contacts completely on the map. Now, again, I don't know what that means. If there's going to be a separate gameplay option when you start the game, I'm assuming it's based on the realism, uh, the amount of realism that you check off before you start your career. But that is uh, that is promising for the ones that are coming in and saying that U-Boat is a little too easy, a little too simplified. And I am one of those individuals. Believe me when I tell you that uh, this is going to add a little bit more of a challenge for the hardened U-boat veterans uh, that have come from the likes of Silent Hunter. So again, really quick, just as we move on again, because this is outside technically our hydrophone range and definitely outside our view range, we won't have this specifically where we can see the ship coming directly at us. So now we know exactly where it is. We can just start setting up our course for it. Uh, again, makes it super easy. This is going to be more so an arc and my assumption is until you actually have eyes on it, either through your uh, periscope or you're completely surfaced and then can see it with uh, binoculars, it's going to remain an arc and you have to establish contact with the actual target. So, all right, let's get a little quick uh, relative course for this uh, individual that's on its own. I don't know why you would ever want to go on your own into the uh, sea when you know there's U-boats creeping everywhere. However, this, uh, this gentleman and this captain wanted to brave it, and sure enough, here he is. So let's go ahead and set up the next attack here if we can. Relative course for this guy. Let's go ahead and get ready and start. I imagine it'll be doing, and you know, if I'm wrong, I'll buy you guys a beer. But I imagine it's gonna be seven knots, because that's about what we average, is seven knots. But while we're waiting for that, again, I I'm pretty stoked with 
all the dev updates that the uh, developers of U-Boat have been giving us. They have, they, I mean, they don't really need to give us any of this. You know, they could just come out and say, "Here's the full release," and you know, figure it out for yourself. But I really enjoy the fact. Stop set. Really enjoy the fact that they're letting the player base know what they're planning to do, and they're still taking suggestions. You guys can still get. Seven knots, there we go, I won. Uh, they, they're still taking suggestions. You guys can still get to the forums, the U-Boat forums, and let them know what you would like to be seen in the up upcoming updates in the full release, and you have a chance of it actually being added into the game if it's something pretty significant that a lot of players want. So please get over to the forums if you feel like you have a pretty good idea and what you think would make this or improve this game. There have been a lot of very good suggestions in the comments for the uh, last... A dev diary video that I brought out a lot of really good suggestions I think you guys should definitely get out there 1.1 kilometers not 11 kilometers let's go ahead and load to one set the speed very fast we'll do two meter depth and we are ready to fire go ahead and fire get this thing out of here and we can soon watch the fireworks hopefully and there we go Smacked it nearly right in the center, completely engulfed in flames. This uh, this cargo ship stands absolutely no chance. I, I am very excited. I know it's kind of going back to the old video or the video we just brought out, but the sheer fact that you're going to be seeing crew walking around frantically, running around frantically, trying to actually put out the flames, or or at least acting as though they've been struck by a torpedo and not just uh, you know, still sitting around looking at, at binoculars and saying, oh, you know, it's just a normal day in the office for us. Uh, really happy that they're going to be adding that. How is the... And this thing is pretty much done. HP completed. Perfect. That is one more under the belt. Let's go ahead and continue on our journey and on to the next update that these devs have brought to us. And I think since we just used torpedoes to knock out a ship, I think it's only appropriate that we talk about the new torpedo attack systems that are coming out in the full release. And uh, I'll see if I can get the video showing here for you, but... Uh, if you go to the Dev Diary 5 in Steam, a lot of it is uh, a nice clip of everything that they've added versus the stills that I'm probably going to have to show you guys. But the new Torpedo Attack System, along with the addition of the Torpedo Calculator, which is the TDC mod that we talked about that they're bringing out, the devs have decided to upgrade all other systems related to the Torpedo Attacks. While it's not our top priority, we hope to make most of the devices on the boat possible to use manually over time. They go on to say that the torpedo launchers were completely overhauled and they can now be used manually. If you do wish to do so, it's possible to open and close the breach doors, flood, drain, and launch the torpedoes on your own. Uh, huge, right? So that kind of goes into what we were talking about, how we would like to see this game be a little more uh, first person, if you will, or you actually have to do things your own. Um, there were comments about regarding like this game is a lot of like crew management. It's more of a crew management game and not a true U-boat game. Uh, I I agree with it to a degree. Uh, you know, there's I mean you're still using the U-boat. You're still trying to use the T or not the TDC. You're still trying to track targets, set and block courses and stuff. But yes, there is a lot more crew management in this one than say like Silent Hunter 3. So I can certainly see where the idea of it being a crew management game versus a U-boat game comes from. And like I said, I do agree with it to a degree. However, now that we can go in and start making this a first person, more in-depth U-boat experience, you can go first person mode, start doing things manually, which was a huge thing that you used to do in Silent Hunter. You can set up the TDC manually, you can flood the tubes, load the tubes, you can set all the, the the specific settings that you want manually in first person if you wish. You can still do it all from the main HUD out here if you want. However, the fact that they're actually adding the ability to go first person kind of brings in a little bit more immersion into the game overall for somebody that wants to have that kind of experience. But they've definitely kind of taken this, The I mean they say that they haven't really, it's not a top priority which means like you feel like that's just it's kind of a, a small idea that they thought of and they just kind of swept under the rug and yeah we worked on it a little bit but they've done quite a bit and they've even add, added the, the torpedo fire control boxes so they go on to say if you would like to see how the entire process worked the torpedo fire control boxes in the control room are all now are also now excuse me simulated it's not necessary to use them but if you prefer to you can set up everything manually there now these are the boxes that i'm showing here right now 
They've decided to, or they've designed the system to be flexible and allow for various ways of executing a successful torpedo attack. So if you wish to do so, you will be able to do everything from the periscope by passing all the measurements to the TDC operator with newly added buttons. They are passed verbally by your character and repeated back to the officer at the TDC. Once everything is set, you can order the launch of the torpedoes. Again, adding that little bit of immersion into the U-boat game, which is something that we've been we've been asking for. So, it's I I don't know that this is going to be just a kind of a beginner's U-boat game anymore. Once this full release comes out, that's what I've been kind of calling U-boat. Uh, when people have asked, is it a game they should get into? Should they get into this or Silent Hunter Three? And I have been kind of leaning to the U-boat side of things for newer players, okay? I think this game is does a an exceptional job of getting someone who wants to get into U-boat or a U-boat simulator. Kind of gets you on your feet and gets you moving versus being thrown into something more advanced like Silent Hunter or any of the other uh, more advanced submarine games. And I'd like to hear from you guys. The, the veterans of the U-Boat gaming uh, community. What do you guys think of the overall news that's coming out for U-Boat and, and what they're looking to do? I mean, does it make you excited for it? Or are you still kind of saying, eh, I'll, I'll pass on this still until I see some solid proof and just stick to Silent Hunter 3? Or will you guys actually give this a try? Let me know. I'm, uh, I'm eager to, to see what you guys are thinking because uh, a lot of the new people that are coming into the U-Boat game seem to really enjoy uh, the news that's coming out. While we're heading back towards base, uh, really quick I just wanted to show this picture of something that they've added. Now while they're talking about the fact that they have eliminated the unlock tip from the periscope view as it was a common suggestion on the forums, again the forums get to the forums and make these suggestions, they're listening uh, to enhance the immersion. So. No longer when you're actually looking through the periscope are you going to have that big unlock button right in front of you saying, you know, hold down, press down E to unlock or lock or click to lock. It, I can get it where it take, takes away from the immersion. It's kind of gamey in to say that. So they're removing that. They'll still, you'll just have to know that you can hold down E to lock or click to lock. Or maybe they'll have another button somewhere just not right in front of your face. But something I can, really quick I wanted to show you is it looks like in this photo as well with the periscopes those might be the new buttons that they were just talking about in regards to uh, relaying the information from the periscope to the officer for the TDC and then he will then relay them back to you so uh, it looks like a it definitely looks different from what we're used to and another thing they're going on talking about is the uh, ability to disable mission markers so they say with the full release update, it's going to be possible to play without the green dots that point mission targets in cases where you only have a partial information about your target to let you find them for yourself. Headquarters may give an update from time to time that will ensure that the mission is still possible to complete when the target, for example, changes its course a lot. So much like what you see on this screen right here where it's mission completed and before that it was a green dot and if you didn't actually go up here and say i want to deselect the mission as you looked off from the horizon you would see a green dot here it definitely takes away from the emerge and it's very more much gamey and not so much of a, a simulator you know a realism simulator if you will that we're trying to go for here so they'll they'll eliminate that altogether. i'm not i won't be surprised i should say if it's still an option in the option menu to click check and uncheck the ability like no 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 i'm pretty new i want the help and then you can select it and you'll still have the green marker but if you don't want it there rather than just going up here and deselecting the whole mission entirely and then having to go back on it when you want to know more about it uh you have it, it, it's going to offer that ability to take it away all right we are finally back at the uh port here after a successful mission we'll probably get the crew out of here so they can go get a little r, &R. But, but before we do that i want to bring up the very last thing that is in the dev diary number five and that is the introduction of atmospheric scattering now a very very quick uh reason as to why they're doing it or what atmospheric scattering is is basically if it wasn't raining and it was clear as day right now and we were out in the uh, out of out of the harbor or even here you could say the ability to see as clear as you do in the distance is the same as here in the dock so as clear as you see these cars and these docks these individual panels here at the dock because we're so close 
way out from the distance in the horizon, it would be just as clear, uh, and there would be no real like atmosphere uh, going on, like the, the blur, the smog, or the haze that you would generally see as things are further and further away. They haven't added that. However, that's what they're adding with the uh, atmospheric scattering. The devs are saying that we've also implemented a better atmospheric scattering effect into the game. It's visible as a blue tint on distant objects with some effect on ambient light of the overall scene. So really quick, I'll show you the before here so you can kind of see that it's, it's relatively clear in the distance from the U-boat all the way to the shoreline there. You can kind of make out almost every individual tree if you will, because there isn't any kind of atmospheric effect. However, if you look at the after effect now, you can see there's that little kind of light blue tinge to the atmosphere or to the horizon as you get there, and it kind of makes everything blend together more so than when it wasn't there. So that's that's another uh, thing that they are adding in the full release. And again, I, you know, it's good. It adds just that little bit more immersion to the game, which is what we all want. So in closing, the uh, release date estimate, as the devs put it, is currently everything remains on track and our estimated completion date for this work is still March to April of 2024. If there are no unforeseen surprises, we should have a specific date to report relatively soon. The main thing that extends the development time are interior models for the new playable U-boats, which we talked about in a past video, that will be introduced in the full release update. You can read more about them, and then you, there's a little link there where you can uh, click on it, and it'll take you to the dev diary that talks about the new U-boats. They continue by saying, while our artists are busy finishing the new U-boats, the rest of the team, among other things, gather feedback on the forum so you have something to, you, or if you have something, excuse me, that you've always wanted added or changed you can feel free to post it. It's important to us to make you satisfied with the upcoming release. So again, in closing here, ladies and gentlemen, if you have something that you want added to the game, you think of a very good idea. And again, I know you guys have incredible ideas, great ideas, because you guys have been commenting on the other videos I posted regarding the Dead Diary releases as to what you want. And you guys have come up with some really phenomenal ideas. Get over to the forums, get those ideas in, and there is still time to add some of that into the final release and or future updates coming in but anyways what have you guys thought of this video i hope you guys have enjoyed it if you guys have please hit that like button so it gets this video out to many more so they can see it comment down below again what are you guys wanting to see in the the release get to the forums but let's talk about it what are you hoping to see either by full release or in the future what did you like about what you saw in this dev diary specific and for anyone that is new to the channel first time seeing this video and you want to see more on the full release of U-Boats, more on Dev Diary updates and or other video games, please consider subscribing as I try and get videos out almost every week. But I hope you guys have enjoyed it and uh, I'm going to get back at it, get out there and start hunting for new targets. Until then, I hope you all have an incredible day. Take it easy, okay?